Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Before I even go into the deck profile, I just want to let you guys know that the reason why I wasn't able to do the Infernoid deck profile um, last Saturday is because my throat was completely gone. Like, I'm just getting it back. Screaming at games, dealing with Matt and the cigarettes. Like, I, I literally have no voice in between that. Um, I hope that you guys can get over my little scratchy voice that I have right now so I can get you guys this deck profile and listen to me butcher the names of these Infernoid monsters. I'm going to be going by the OCG names, I guess. Uh, one copy of Nehemoth, that's one good. Uh, two copies of Aldram, Aldramelic, Aldramelic, I, I guess that's how you say his name. One copy of Blaster, two copies of Gores, three copies of Veal, one copy of Asmodai, Asmodal, Asmodal, I don't know, fucking whatever. Two copies of Astaroth, oh, it's kind of like, uh, Team Titans, Asmaroth, Metreon, Synthos, however you say that name. Three copies of him. Uh, two copies of Lucifugus. L Lucifungus? I don't know. Three copies of Lucifugus. Uh, three copies of Curry Bandit. Three copies of Tour Guide. Two copies of Skarm. One Tour Bus of the Forbidden Realms. One Great Marju Da Iza. Uh, three copies of Beezable. Bell Beezable. Bell's Bowl. Be I don't know. I, I don't know how you say these cards. Um, for spells, Miracle Dick, Raigeki, Foolish Burial, two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon, two copies of a Apostle of Purgatory, uh, one copy of Burial from the Different Dimension for Traps, two copies of Void Launch. Before we continue to go into it and I start talking about her Inferno deck profile, fuck you for the person that's going to post on it. Hey, man, it's pretty useful. I really don't give a shit how you guys care of how I spell it or if it cringes you that I don't spell cards name right. I mean... It is what it is. They're Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean, come on now. I'm not Asian. I'm just playing. But um, anyways, the, the basic synopsis of this deck is to go into Dante and put Infernoid monsters to your graveyard um, through Dante, uh, through the... the you know, void launch and just really just abuse the deck so far in there. Um, I run two copies of Gores mainly because, like I said, I mean, the only traps that you run are void launch. So Gores is a really good card this format. Being able to drop himself and, you know, just get an extra token. And sometimes you can even abuse boards like that, summoning Blaster and then making a big eye play. Uh, for the extra deck, we're going to running uh, Heretic Sun, uh, Felgrand, Master of Blades, Draco Sack, Big Eye, Vokasaurus, 101, two Down Syndromes, Castell. Uh, a la carte, Zen mains, two Dantes, and a Gachi Gachi Contentu. To be so real with you guys, the only thing that you really need in here is the Dantes, maybe one Downard, the Big Eye, the Draco Sack, and the Blades. Everything else is just like, you can throw it together. I mean, this deck is really fun. Um, <clears throat> biggest reason why I decided not to go the Reasoning in Monster Gate route, um, for the people that didn't watch the video, I feel that the Reasoning in Monster Gate route, you are relying on those cards to win. Now, when you rely on a card to win like that, that is so random, you're playing the deck wrong. If you're relying on any certain card to flat out allow you to play Yu-Gi-Oh, the deck is trash. That is like the worst way to go about it, in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong. Reasoning might serve some other purpose for you guys. But they play four monsters in the deck that could be special summoned through Reasoning. And so you Reasoning to mill through your whole deck and have all these Inferno with monsters in the graveyard. That's great. Half the time, if it, does, if it does go up, you're in a perfect position to succeed. But with that being said, you can't run cards like Tour Guide. Can't run cards like Curry Bandit. You can't run the certain cards that I'm playing that allows me to play Yu-Gi-Oh! if I don't draw certain uh, Infernoid builds. So I really do prefer this tour guide route, making Dante and sending Infernoid monsters to the graveyard that way. Kinda like a Lightsworn Engine, but Lightsworn Engine is a little more luck sack. Um, with that, I can actually abuse Dante in other ways than just, you know, summon Lightsworn monster and sit on it and hope to mill the right thing. And it still does have a lot of synergy with the deck. You know, tour guide's really good in here. Being able to fetch Skarm, which gets Dante, which fetch Curry Bandit, which gets me any of my spell cards to my hand, and still puts Infernoid monsters to the graveyard. I feel like that is the better way to play Infernoids. Well, here you guys have it is my Infernoid deck profile. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it, hearing me butcher the names of these monsters, and then on top of that, hearing my scraggly voice, which... I mean, it is what it is. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, please post down below. Please don't say why I don't run X card if I've already mentioned it. Um, I know there probably is a couple of cards that I did miss. Um, like I said, post down below if you have any questions. But please like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, guys, enjoy.